Beverly Fells Jones. I am the Silver Fox of Consciousness, and today I just want to talk about the way you think and the way you believe. Because the things that show up in your life, the way things are, it's based on how you believe and what you believe. Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich, which I think many of you have heard of, said, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. You have a belief about everything, absolutely everything. There's nothing that somewhere in your subconscious you don't have a belief about. If you know about it, you've got a belief about it. If you are experiencing limitation, struggle, or even hardship in a relationship, having money, your career, or your health, I want you to take the time to examine your beliefs because they definitely have an effect. Your current situation in life is a dream that has been made visible. The way you think and the beliefs that you hold dear to you actually orchestrate what's coming into your life. And it dictates what stays and what goes away. So what, here's what I want you to do. I want you to dream big. I mean, really big, right? I want you to dream as though your life depended on it because it does. Begin to imagine in detail what you want your life and your circumstances to be like through time. Or as though time, space, and money were limitless. Okay, let me say that again because I kind of messed it up a little bit. I want you to begin to imagine in detail what you want your life and your circumstances to be like, regardless of anything going on today, and as though money, time, and space was infinite. There was no bottom, there was no time limit, and you had all the money you wanted. What would you really want? And I'm not talking about, you know, the big house and the fancy cars and all that, because is that what you really want? And some of you saying, yes, yes, I want that. Okay, you want that. But think about deep down inside, what is that desire that you truly have about, what do I want my life to be like? You know, me, I want to, be able to decide what I want to do when I want to do it. If I want to go take a trip, a friend called me today and said, you know, I haven't taken a vacation in a while. Where are we going? Now, if I was stuck, I'd say, I can't do that. I can't go on a vacation. I don't have the money. I can't go there. I, I got to get time off from work. I've got to I want you to dream as though you were in your own business or you were working at the job that you wanted and you had an unbelievable amount of time to do the things that you needed. You could work and be anywhere in the world. So I can take that vacation as long as I have internet access. I can be anywhere. My cell phone, internet access, I can work anywhere in the world. Can you say that? Dream big. You know, without any help from, from public or private institution or person, all right, without any help, you can possess and become that independent, abundant person who is filled with joy and happiness. Or you can lose everything and become dependent upon friends and family and the government for your food, water, shelter, clothing. Which would you prefer? 
in either case, either the abundance and plenty of it or destitute, okay? In either case, you can enter the conscious, emotional, mental state of the thing you think about most. You can choose abundance on the high end, poverty on the low end, or something in between. A friend of mine I was talking to today said, you know, that she studied society. And she asked the question that I've often asked, how is it that one or two or a few people break out of the cycle of poverty? break out of the low income area where there's struggle and strife and so many people stay and she brought out one thing it's here and it is the people who surround you if you are trying to make good grades in school or you're trying to go to college and you hear around you, well, I don't know who you think you are. You, you gonna go to college. How are you gonna go to college? Nobody in our family's ever gone to college. Where are you gonna get the money from? Oh, you wanna go in debt. You know you don't wanna go in debt to do that. You just need to just stay on down here with us. And I know many of you have heard those statements in some form or another. It's not that they don't love you, but it's part of it is that one, they're afraid that you will leave and leave them behind. Or you'll hear, well, you think you're, too, you're, you're better than us. You think you're too good to be here with us. You're too good in order to come visit us. I've heard that many times too, is where you left the ghetto. No, not to me. I have to be honest, not to me. But I've heard others say, you left here and now you can't come down to visit us right you know you, you've gone up there on the mountaintop and with all your all your new friends and you don't have time for us and in reality you do have time for them on reality in reality you are visiting them in reality you are saying come join me here let's get you back in school we'll go investigate ways that we can get you in school or let's get you training let's get you into a technical school whatever it is it's here. It's between my two fingers or between my hands, right? It's the idea. It's how you think. You can choose abundance or poverty. And you do this by occupying, occupying the state you most desire. And you may be asking yourself, what does she mean? by occupying the state I most desire. Well, Mark eleven twenty four. 24, I like to quote, of course, from the Bible, and it says, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it. It's past tense. You already have it. Believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Hmm. Now, like I've looked at this and many years ago, it just really didn't resonate. And now it just so resonates and just understand, ask for it. Believe that you've got it. Act mentally as though it's yours. And it will be. It's like when I was looking for a new truck and I wanted a new truck while I was driving my old truck and believing I already had it. I was driving it and I said, oh, this is what it feels like to be in my new truck. Oh, I really like, oh, oh, I like that. Oh, the sound system is really good. So I was feeling as though I had it. So let's suppose you have the desire to become an award-winning artist, okay? So you want to be an artist. I just pick that out of the blue. Whatever it is that somewhere inside of you, you have the desire, just put that item in there. Right, you want to be a, an award winning artist. You start by asking yourself several questions. The questions are not concerning how you get to be this artist because 
if you're doing that, you're looking into the future, those steps will come. But you want to ask because the fact is tomorrow and the future never come. So if you continue to think of yourself somewhere in the future being that artist, that's where it will stay. It will stay in the future. You want to be in the right now. Therefore, to become what you desire, adopt the state of your wish fulfilled. Let me say that again. Adopt the state of your wish fulfilled. Ask yourself, how do you feel as an award-winning artist? Imagine what you would see, hear, touch, experience as an award-winning artist known all over your county, your city. You want to think bigger than that? Okay, your state, bigger than that, your country, or even the world. Wherever you feel good, if you can only feel as though it's in your city, in your county, in your local area, then feel that first and become an award-winning artist in that space. And then as you become that, then you can ask for the state or the world. Clothe yourself, put on the clothes, the thought processes, the mannerisms, Put yourself in the reality of this state that you have created in your imagination. You're doing all of this in your imagination. I want you to remain in this state or come back to this state as often as possible until you feel as though it is real. One afternoon I was sitting at my dining room table thinking about what I desired to do. All of a sudden, it was as though I was thrust back into my body. It was like a jolt. And I realized I was sitting at my desk, right here, sitting at my desk. And you ask, what happened? So did I. It was like, what oh, I had been sitting at my desk this entire time. However, my thought was so deep and so intense and my imagination so at work it actually felt as though as I, I was sitting at the dining room table doing the tasks that I was thinking about that I imagined at that moment and I've used that term before at that very moment I realized that this is what it feels like to be in the state in which your wish is fulfilled. I'm serious. I woke, it was like I woke up and like, and that's basically what I did. I'm at my desk. And then I remember just sitting there beginning to think about that thing I needed to do in the dining room. And that was the state that you want to get in that when you wake up from that imagination from that dream it was like it's not real in this example I entered the state unconsciously not deliberately and what you want to do is live your life consciously creating not by accident and I invite you to dream magnificently, even though it may seem impossible. I want you to allow yourself the pleasure of feeling as though it is true. Ephesians 4, 22 through 24 says this, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put on your old self which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires to be made new in the attitude of your mind and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. So I look at that and I say, you know, this is more than just a religious thing. This is how you need to live your life. And I shouldn't say need. This is how you should want to live your life. So in regard to your 
old way of thinking. I'm not an award-winning artist. I can barely draw a picture, right? And there are pe people who decided I wanted, they wanted to be an artist and they were, you know, babies when it came to art and they became award-winning artists, all right? So in regard to your old way of thinking, I want you to put off the old beliefs because they are corrupted and hold you in bondage. And it says that you're not able to accomplish your dream. These old thoughts in your subconscious are running as programs. I'm not good enough. I'm not, I don't know how to draw. I can't draw like those people. My art doesn't look like theirs. I'm not, I, I don't know how I'm gonna win an award, right? So you want to be made new in the way you think and put on the new self as in being an award-winning artist. Think of yourself in this way. Think of yourself in the wish fulfilled and the creator of the universe will find a way to make it a reality. Trust me, people will show up. Ideas will come into your head opportunities will show up. Now, if you need to get training, you go. The school will show up. You'll find the school. You'll find a way to go. You'll find the teacher or the teacher will find you. Whichever way it is, it happens. Because as you believe, let it be done to you. And it is so.